Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lude for those of you that do not know me and I am back with another YouTube video. It's 7 a.m. and you guys are probably wondering why I'm outside. So I thought to vlog a day in the life as a matric student as I'm gonna be attending winter classes this week. So I'm gonna be attending those classes. I'm about to leave right now, but I thought to vlog it for you guys. Guys, it's seven degrees outside, so you know how to come lay it up. I'm wearing my uniform obviously and a jersey and the hoodie that UWC gave us. And yeah, I'll show you guys the fit later when I'm at school. I'm about to leave right now, as I said. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I've been seeing the love on my channel, you guys, and it's really growing. So I just want to say thank you for all the love and support. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Uh, so Zay and I made it in time for school. I'm about to go in. But yeah, I actually I'm in that Hi Alex. Hi. But yeah guys, as we're saying <laughs> As I was saying, I'm gonna go in now. Let's have the friends. Say hi. Hello. Not serious about life. Uh, Can I have a China? No. China? <laughs> okay guys. We're still playing skipping rope, by the way. We're waiting for us to. We're waiting for them to call us inside, but we're still playing skipping rope. Well, some of us. This us. Okay, bye. Out. Hi guys, Siba. Hi guys, have Siba. Hello guys, you have me. Okay guys, it's currently home time. It's half past one right now. We're about to go get lunch and then afterwards we can go home. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later, update you on what's going on, show you guys when we're having lunch. I wonder and what's for lunch. What do you think? Guess. I don't want to. Yeah. Did you get musho? I ate, but it was cool. Like, it was yeah. Nice. You must eat it with like sweet chili. Sweet chili? Really nice. Yeah, actually. It's nice with sweet chili. What do you think? They're going to for lunch. Yeah. If you this get it right. Yeah. Again. I don't think. Nah, 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 nah. I didn't eat it yesterday. Because snap is expensive. I don't think so. But get guesses. I want chicken. Bro. I think I'm going to get chicken and probably like some veg or something. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> We're going to get lunch right now and then I'll update you guys when we're eating about what's going on and yeah. You can just see as we're coming in, everyone's taking register. And guys, I just wanna say that I'm like so tired. She's in Yama. She's in Yama. You chill about don't bry your mind up. You see what is real? Yeah. Meat and it's If you don't want meat. Oh, if you're vegetarian. Pescatarian. Yeah. What's a pescatarian? It's fish and I'm not going to No, yeah. I thought it was fish or meat. Um, take your color. I want orange. I mean, Let's take orange. Okay, guys. Nancy? Yeah. I saw. Have a bullet. Current situation. Current situation. It's giving good on Paco. That depth, how do you feel? About food. Adams. Yeah, Adams. You're about to devour. We take taking a different food than us. Okay. So. This for Tabita because she's a vegetarian. We have Ooh, some squash, chicken. They look good though. And yeah, vegetarian, vegetarian galop. Different, unique, special. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. It's Saturday, the 29th of June. It's currently 5:57 a.m. and we are going to write our NBT test. Like. Am I prepared? Not so well, but I have hope that I'm going to do great. I have hope. 
and for those of you that do not know mbt tests like a test that you write i think to for certain universities because some universities require you to write an mbt test and yeah i don't know why but that's just how it is so this morning i'm going to write my aql and then um later on in the day i'm going to write my mat so my aql if for those of you that do not know aql is like um basically like english where it's like comprehensions advertisement and yeah that's for three hours and then the mat has everything to do with maths and so that's going to be three hours again i think i'm writing at, at like 11 or 12 i'm not really sure what the times i think they're going to tell us when we write in the aql like the times for both tests so yeah today i'm writing both my tests at rose university which is like a 45 minute drive from my house and yeah i'm about to have my coffee do my morning devotion study through my notes and then head out with i'm gonna go with my brother by the way and yeah i don't know how to feel about this test guys i feel like i'm not really prepared but it's like can you really be prepared for nvt test like i now understand when people say that you can't study for it because you can but you can't but i'll show you guys the fit now now guys i'm about to tie my hair properly like now now but i'm wearing my uwc hoodie that we got at the uwc program at school i'm manifesting guys i want to get accepted into uwc pray for me yeah so i'm wearing this hoodie and i'm wearing it with these um cargo pants and then i'm wearing it with these shoes and then but underneath i'm wearing this like brown top that looks like this so yeah little cute fit you know i'm about to do my hair and yeah, guys, I'll see you guys when I'm on my way. It's probably going to be dark, though. So I don't think I'm going to be able to vlog when we're on our way. Because it's like 6 a.m., you guys. It's going to be very dark. So, yeah. Catch you guys later. Fill me up with confidence. I say what's in my chest. Spill my words and tear me down until there's nothing left. Rearrange the pieces just to fill me with the rest. Yeah. But what if I, what if I try? guys we're currently in Grahamstown. my brother just went to go ask the security guards like where we need to enter um well like it's 7 27 right now we're probably late because we still need to find our way around the university but we made it just in time i'm feeling kind of nervous guys i would like i'm feeling very much scared right now but i'm gonna trust in my power i'm gonna do well in this test i have hope so yeah thanks catch you guys Hey guys, we just finished writing. I'm here with Luvo by the way. Luvo say hi. Hi. So guys, we're gonna ask Luvo. Oh, right now we're walking to go get something to eat. Then I have to be back to write the mats. Luvo, how do you feel about that AQL? <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I'm worried. Yeah. I feel, I'm worried. Man, there's no hope guys. Bye yeah, guys. But I don't know guys. Yeah, I don't see I'm even worried. Yeah. Right? Do you want to go to KFC? You go that side. KFC. Hey 
guys so it's a lot later literally three weeks later you guys i think today is like the the 22nd of july and right now i'm at home i literally forgot about this video like i don't want to lie looking crusty i swear i'm always wearing this hoodie because it's so cold if you know you know like we're literally living in minus one degrees right now like that's how it feels like at this point but anyways, let me give you guys a quick review on the NBTs and how personally I find them out to be, whether I find them difficult, the whole process, um, just explaining everything to you guys. Um, the reason why I wrote the NBT was because I needed them for my application to go to certain universities such as UCT, Rhodes University, Stellenbosch, you know, for the courses that I had applied for. So those courses that I had applied for in those universities have told me like, hey, you need to write an NBT for us to actually consider your application. And that's exactly what I did. So for my course, I need both English and maths. So I had to write both um, NBT tests, the AQL, which is ma mainly like the English, the comprehensions. It has your maths lit. You have to be able to read graphs, things like that. And then the second NBT was the maths one, which was basically like pure maths. Now, when it comes to preparing for the NBTs, I literally started studying like a week before. I took out my papers, I made my notes, I made sure that I had everything in order. Like I knew that I had to study because I know that a lot of people have been saying that it is a very difficult test, especially for the maths. So I knew that I needed to prepare well. And that's exactly what I did. I went through the past papers that I Googled. I'm not really sure on the site. Maybe if I find one, I'll put it on the screen. But I made sure that I studied through the past papers. Um, I made sure that I knew my formulas, everything. Um, I even used this other app for um, that really helps with the maths and stuff like that. So when I arrived there, there was literally like, like there were so many people there. It legit felt like I was in university and the university is big so it kind of felt like very nerve-wracking I was very stressed I felt unprepared I saw these people like I felt yeah man I felt like I don't know how to explain it but I felt like oh I felt uneasy man like I wouldn't say I was uncomfortable but I was very stressed I was very anxious very nervous Felt like I didn't know as much as I should you know like how normal feels that you would go through when you're about to write like an exam or a test so um i got there and i wrote my aql which is a three hour paper and i wrote it at 8 a.m and even though you guys are probably like Ugh, it's multiple choice it's probably not even that bad when i tell you that all the answers looked right to me and you know like when you're doing multiple choice and you're like no man i chose c like three times let me change it up you know let me, let me change it up guys i don't know what i was doing in that exam don't don't i don't know shame and for not blogger guys, uh, uh, guys for me personally the english wasn't that difficult there were a few questions and when i say a few i mean like 20 questions where i was like ah uh, uh, shame i don't know about this one let's go on to the next you know like let me let me let me leave this to marinate for now maybe like you know but basically what uh, the process of it all is that for each section, they give you certain timers. So let, let's say for section A, they say that, okay, guys, you have 30 minutes to do section A. Your time starts now. Then when they say that 30 minutes is um, done, you have to move on to the next section. You can't go back. So you literally have a specific time set for each section. So after we wrote the AQL, which was a three hour long um, paper, we got a 30 minute break and we had to come back and write the maths. Huh? <laughs> when I tell y'all that I've never written such a difficult paper in my life and even though it was multiple choice and I know that I was like undermining the paper a little bit I was like no man and the fact that we even had a formula sheet that formula sheet did not help guys and they basically would ask questions um like volume questions functions calculus everything that you do in pure maths every single section was asked in that paper algebra everything but it's not just simple algebra questions that you would get in like a maths paper one or a maths paper two like exam girl i don't know like i don't know how but the way that the questions were set up i i, I honestly like don't know like i'm in like oh, even now still thinking about it, i'm like what like what was that paper like i don't want to lie 
when i tell you i went home i ate my oreos i watched a movie i really child i don't want to do anything that whole weekend not even that whole day the whole weekend because i was like that drained me <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back in the car. Um just like a quick recap of why we came to the mall after school. Um I had to come change my phone like my screen protector for my phone and also I wanted to get a new like phone case so that's how we came to the mall and then obviously my dad was like let's go get um a few things that my mom's gonna need to cook dinner and yeah so we literally bought i don't know if you guys probably saw by the clips but of all the things that i bought but personally for me the stuff that i got was literally just oreos if you know you know i literally oreos on my ride or die so yeah um so i just bought um oreos and i also bought this other um dove shower gel i live by this shower gel you guys it smells so good and it literally leaves my skin feeling very soft so i had to restock on that but anyways i'm gonna go home now and i'll catch you guys when we get home bye <laughs> from being at the mall with my dad for literally 20 minutes um after i got my screen protector as you guys saw i got my oreo this is the best flavor by far like the one with the chocolate inside really really good and then i got this dove um um shower gel i think it's the one with the cocoa butter it smells really good you guys like i saw the original one which is like the deeply nourishing one i've tried it before and yeah i don't know but i just like scented like shower gels and i feel like i've been using this for like years and i really love it it smells really good by the way it smells like cocoa butter now with that being over and said and done with right now it's currently half past four and i'm about to do my little like prepping for the prelims so right now i'm about to create my little study timetable and then I'm still deciding on like which subject to like consolidate so yeah I'll, I'll see what um I'll see what I you know decide to do but as you guys can see I'm wearing my pajamas because um we're staying inside we're not going anywhere um so yeah so yeah with that being said let's get straight into the video let's get you know what guys let me motivate myself you know what guys let's get um what do they call it um let's get on our zoom let's clock in like there's no time to play guys prelims we're writing on the 19th of july of uh, no not july we're writing on the 19th of august and right now it's like the 23rd and we literally have less than a month you guys and then we start writing prelims so i need to get on my zoom i need to like you guys like trust me when i say that i have not started studying for prelims i don't want to lie to you guys i haven't even started um as you guys can even tell i'm even starting to make my own study timetable now so yeah i'm about to do that now and yeah guys that being said let's get straight into it <laughs> hey guys i just woke up from the fattest nap ever like i woke up a while ago 
but i kind of forgot about you know you guys um but yeah i just wanted to end the vlog right here i couldn't be without saying goodbye and overall you guys yeah that is what this video has come up to don't forget to like and subscribe i am trying to post a lot more than i do on this channel and i promise you guys i'm literally posting another video next week so stay tuned for that i feel like it's going to be a very interesting video um it's not going to be the usual like vlogs and stuff like that i'm actually excited for this one so make sure you got your post notifications turned on because ciao this channel is about to skyrocket i'm telling you guys and by the way you guys rode to 150 like like come on now chelsea come on now literally i'm still in shock like still like i actually i like, can't believe it like 150 subs and even in my last video when i got like 3k views which is still insane like 3,000 people watched my previous video i still can't like fathom all of that information it's just hard to comprehend but yeah you guys i'm always appreciative of the support and yeah you guys stay tuned for new content stay tuned for lit content i promise you guys i'm going to be posting literally every week because i have about two videos in the drafts that i need to upload so stay tuned for that as i said and yeah you guys i'll see you next time i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and also go into the description box to check out all of my socials as i am trying to be um post like posting on my tiktok and on my instagram you know i just trying to yeah get into this new content creation thing so i'll see you guys in my next video which is literally in like a week's time i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye